most ruthless African dictators of all times. It is said that Africa breeds dictatorship. This may not be true, but when you look closely, you would see that Africa has actually produced some of the most brutal and ruthless dictators. The regime of some of these men was characterized by terror, horror, bloodshed and chaos. The surprising thing was that some of these dictators helped their countries achieve economic prosperity while some destroyed everything their countries struggled to achieve. In this video, we'll look at some of the most brutal African tyrants of all time. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 10. Jean Kambanda, Rwanda Jean Kambanda is one of the evilest African warlords to ever walk on earth. He was responsible for the Rwanda genocide that saw over 800,000 people get killed. The civil engineer was appointed the president of Rwanda on the onset of genocide in 1994 and was the leader during the 100 days of the Tutsis and Hutu civil war. Zhang was apprehended in Nairobi on the 18th of July 1997 and was handed over to the International Criminal Tribunal in Rwanda. He was accused of aiding mass slaughter by giving out small arms and ammunition to individuals in Gitarama and Butari, while knowing very well that the weapons will be used to murder innocent citizens. Jean Kambanda is the only African dictator to confess guilty of mass murder. Number 9. Omar Hassan Ahmad al-Bashir, Sudan Omar al-Bashir remains the first president in office to be tried and sentenced for heinous acts like rape, mass murder, and violent robbing. Omar was elected in power in 1989 to be the leader of Sudan, before its division into North and South Sudan. To add, Omar embezzled the country's funds to aid extremist activities. In 2019, this ruthless dictator was finally defeated in a coup. Omar was then arrested, tried, and convicted for several atrocious acts against humanity. Number 8. Teodoro Obiangema Mbasogo, Equatorial Guinea Teodoro Obiangema Mbasogo is the president of Equatorial Guinea and has ruled Equatorial Guinea since August 1979. He came to power by hosting his uncle, Francisco Macias Ngema in a bloody coup and is currently the longest serving president in Africa. Obiangema took charge of the country's affairs in 1979 and is referred to as the torturer-in-chief following his reported sadism. The president of Equatorial Guinea may not be a household name, however, those who have survived his brutal regime claim he's nothing but pure evil. He rose to power by toppling his uncle's regime, Francisco Marcias Ngema, taking revenge after his uncle had his family murdered. Since season pa, his political opponents have been subjected to severe oppression and torture. However, many claims that his depravity goes much deeper. It is alleged that Obiangema is a cannibal. Those who make these claims say that he believes in eating his political opponents to increase his sexual prowess. Number 7. Mobutu Sese Seko, Democratic Republic of Congo Mobutu Sese Seko was the president of the DRC between 1965 and 1997. He killed innumerable number of people during his tenure as president. He murdered opposition leaders in broad daylight. He forced all television stations to start the evening news with an image of him descending through the clouds from heaven. Following Congo's 1960 independence, five years after deposing the country's first elected leader, Patrice Lumumba, Mobutu took full control of the entire nation and declared a state of emergency, promising the restoration of democracy in due course. Well, it did not happen. Mobutu abolished the prime ministerial position and then dissolved parliament before declaring his own Mouvement Populaire de la Révolution the only legal political party in the country. Mobutu soon bared his nationalist teeth, embarking on a program of national authenticity. Congo was renamed Zaire, European styles of dressing were banned, 
and baptizing a child with a Western name became illegal. Mobutu was finally overthrown by a Rwandan-led invasion headed by Laurent Désiré Kabila. The country was renamed the DRC, but in truth, it was much the same. Soon, Congo fell into a decade-long period of internecine civil war, claiming the lives of nearly 6 million natives. Number 6. Joseph Rao Kony, Uganda It seems like Uganda had the evilest African warlords because Joseph Kony is another autocrat that brought a lot of suffering to the Ugandans. Kony led the Lord's Resistance Army, a group allegedly formed to fight government oppression. Later on, LRA turned on its own and began doing ethical cleansing by murdering nearly 1,000 people weekly. Joseph considered himself the spokesperson of God and a spirit medium. The African warlord claimed that he got visits from 13 international spirits, including a Chinese phantom. Under his rule, Joseph Corney ordered the kidnapping of children to recruit them as child soldiers and sex slaves. Over 66,000 children were recruited as soldiers, while 2 million individuals suffered from being displaced in their country from 1986 to 2009. Number 5. Yaya Jame Gambia This man was more than a dictator, he was a serial killer. Yaya Jame organized a coup in 1994 and became a notorious Gambian dictator. For years, the commander had strong support from his military operatives. He handled Gambian affairs in controversial ways, from making dangerous claims of having discovered a cure for HIV AIDS. Jame detested and condemned homosexuality. He manipulated elections in his favor until 2017, when his cup got full and he lost the presidential seat to Adama Barrow. Jame was prepared to resist the government's change, but he lacked support. He is now in exile somewhere in Equatorial Guinea. Number 4. Sani Abacha, Nigeria The list has finally landed on Africa's most populous country, Nigeria. In 1993, Abacha took over the affairs of Nigeria, only to steal and fill his pockets with the country's oil resources. Allegedly, he was a dollar billionaire with several offshore bank accounts and properties across the globe. As if the corruption and embezzlement of billions of US dollars of state funds weren't enough, General Abacha had the guts to kill people who opposed him. In any case, he managed to achieve a few good things before dying in 1998. Nigerians still remember this military dictator for his ability to reduce crime rates. He is also credited for revamping Nigeria's economy and its road network. Number 3. Jean Bedel Bokassa, Central African Republic Jean Bedel Bokassa is one of the ancient African warlords who was ruthless from start. Before rising to power, Jean was a soldier in the French Equatorial Army. Bokassa became the autocrat leader of the country's Central African Empire in 1966 after he killed his own cousin in a coup in 1965. Soon after, he was named the Butcher of Bangui. Even though it is not clear the number of citizens he murdered, Jean was personally behind the massacre of a hundred school children because they could not afford to purchase expensive school attire with his emblem. That is just something inhumane. To add, Jean Bokassa was also accused to be feeding on human flesh. Besides murdering, Jean caused the Central African Republic to go bankrupt after using one third of the country's funds for his exorbitant crowning event that cost $20 million. In 1972, Bokassa appointed himself the president for life and an emperor in 1976. In 1979, Jean was ousted to exile, following his other staff civilians murdered by his troops, as well as his act of canning small children during the protest. Number 2. Charles Taylor, Liberian Warlord Charles Taylor was called the Tyrant of Death. He was one who committed heinous crimes in human history and was guilty of violence to life, terrorism and lots. No one knew how to be the worst dictator than this ex-president of Liberia. 
Taylor got into power in 1997 and ruled till 2003. Before his rise to the presidency, he was a rebel leader who had had his hands in serious wars, such as the Sierra Leone Civil War. Charles Taylor was appointed as the president of Liberia in 1997, following the end of the war, as he threatened to resume violence if he was not elected. His famous campaign slogan was, He killed my ma, he killed my pa, but I will vote for him. Oh wow. There was nothing good to write home about him. Eventually, the ICC found him guilty of numerous crimes, such as recruiting child soldiers, terror, killings, and more. He stepped down in 2003. In 2012, he started serving 50 years behind bars. During the sentencing part of his trial at The Hague in 2012, Presiding George Richard Lusick famously said, the accused has been found responsible for aiding and abetting as well as planning some of the most heinous and brutal crimes in recorded human history. Number 1. Idi Amin Dada, Uganda Idi Amin Dada was a wicked Ugandan dictator. His era, 1971-79, was full of human butchering. Have you watched the movie The Rise and Fall of Idi Amin from 1981 or Raid of Entebbe from 1976 or The Last King of Scotland from 2006 which garnered Forrest Whitaker an Academy Award for Best Actor? These movies are based on the events of the terrible Ugandan dictator Idi Amin. From a humble beginning of serving in the British colonial army, he rose through the rank and foul of military powers and realized his autocratic dreams in his home country, Uganda. And thus, in 1971, he embarked on a coup and overthrew ex-president Milton Obote. In 1977, this dictator declared himself the conqueror of the British Empire when the UK broke diplomatic ties with Uganda in the same year. Having assumed power in 1971 after a coup, the aptly nicknamed Butcher of Uganda wasted no time in commenting the killing of ethnic minorities, disabled people, and other political undesirables. President Idi Amin's regime had a lot to do with human rights abuses, corruption, murders, and all sorts of negativity. Amin was so effective at laying waste the entire sections of society that by the time he was forcibly removed from power in 1979, he had personally ordered the killing of an estimated 300,000 to 500,000 people, which seems almost inconceivable given the fact that he was in power for a mere eight years. He also notably expelled 50,000 Asians from Uganda in 1972 and had his fourth wife murdered and dismembered in 1974 for alleged adultery. If that's not chilling enough for you, in 1976, he famously confessed that, I have eaten human meat. It is very salty, even more salty than leopard meat. Amin was ousted in 1979 and died in exile in Saudi Arabia on August 16, 2003. There you have it, explorers, Africa's most ruthless dictators. There are several more that we haven't mentioned, so please share them in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends.